Hello everybody and welcome to Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. Now, this has been an interesting one to follow along with. Uh, I don't really know that much about it, just that it's another entry in the Mud Runner, Snow Runner, you know, that whole that whole game series. I've never played it. These are my first impressions. This is a first look. So we're just going to see what the game is all about and see if it's any good. Let's get into it. Ooh. So this is Little Colorado. This is one of three maps at launch. The others being Arizona and the Carpathians. Stage completed. I, I, I just I just spawned in. Welcome. Before jumping into your first expedition, let's learn the basics of driving. Okay, let's hope um, I can remember since I have played this game. Well, not this game, but, you know, these kind of games. Snow Runner and Mud Runner the like. Please the handbrake. Press A. Start moving. I can do that. So there we go. Yep, relatively uh, similar UI as well. So we just got to get to the gap. I guess that's just down here. I would imagine the buttons are largely the same. Oh, there we go. Keep following the quest markers to progress. I keep pressing A to move on, but apparently it wants me to press X. Oh, that's a lot of smoke. Oh, look at this. That is a very yellow building. Oh. So, yeah, this game comes out on the uh, 5th of March. Able to play it a little bit earlier, thanks to the uh, people at Focus Entertainment. All right, there we go. What do we do now? To move further, you will need to engage the all-wheel drive, making the traversal of any rough terrain much easier, but at the cost of higher fuel consumption. All right. Uh, RB, uh, B. Okay, that is a little different, actually, from uh, SnowRunner. It's the middle of the swamp. Shall do. Back in. Oh, yes. Got me back in the mud. What do we do now here, then? inspect the lost cargo differential lock if you're completely stuck you must engage the differential lock this will help a lot in order to you will have to shift to a lower gear all right rb and uh, uh yes there we go coming back to me i haven't i haven't actually played snow runner in a little bit actually i uh supposed to be editing a video of it but i haven't gotten around to it yet All right. Nice. What is this then? What is this truck? Look a bit like a Unimog at first, but no. Don't think so. It looks very much, very Unimoggy though. Very much so. All right. What? What do we got now? Just having a bit of a crash course in driving at the moment. Uh, enter exchange mode. Trade. Oh, this is new. On the left is your vehicle's inventory. The right is the resource area. Select the quest item, add it to the vehicle's inventory, and close the menu. Okay. Uh, move that to there, and then press A. Gotcha. And B to exit. Okay, so this is interesting. So you have full-on inventories now uh, on your vehicles. That is cool. Interesting. Okay. Enter auto shift. And reverse. All right. Game is very pretty. What's these games are? The one thing I felt like they just did lack in some... Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, back up to turn around. I already have done. Oh, all right. Yeah, the one thing that I always felt they slightly lack is just a difference in terrain. And um, not, not, terrain like this is a nice, is a nice difference for sure. Get out of the swamp. Tire inflation system. This is new. Adjusting the pressure depending on the type of terrain. Reducing it will significantly improve traction to the cost of higher fuel consumption. Again, yep. Uh, open the tire inflation system menu, then reduce the pressure. Right, so now we're on reduce pressure. Let, okay, let's reduce it. Okay. I like that. That is really cool. We haven't had that before in these games. The tires have meant something, but not 
not too much in these games, in my opinion. I felt like they could always be simulated a little bit more. Not to say that they're bad at all, but this is a, this is a good improvement. Refueling. Expeditions will take you across long distances. For this, we recommend taking fuel canisters with you. Let's do it. Uh, wait, what are we doing here? Oh, oh, we have, do we have them on us already? Yeah, I can see them, the red things there. Little red cans right there. All right, going back to the camp. Repair. If your vehicle is damaged, use spare parts to repair the damaged components. Okay, and then LB... Wait, uh, uh, LB... Okay, that looks... Yeah, that looks fine. Get that get up a bit, I guess. And that as well. <laughs> but we're fine. Need to get accustomed to this uh, new UI. Deliver the found item. It was a memory card, I suppose. Yep, there it is. And deliver. There we go. Just a little really quick crash course, I guess, in anyone that was brand new to the game. But it has taught me something that is new to this game. So, yeah. Get rewards. Okay, gives you a little summary, I guess, as well. The distance covered on these little uh, on these little runs. The headquarters. All right. Region selection. Here we go. Mods region. Fantastic. There's going to be continued mod support. I would I would really hope so, because that really uh, made a snow runner um, for, for us at the brick, the brick gang. For those who don't know who they are, people I record with. Um, much more enjoyable to drive cars that we recognize and we drive uh, ourselves in, in real life. Expeditions are the main missions progressing through the game and earn various rewards by completing them. Okay. Yeah, kind of like your missions in your snow runner but these are i think they're gonna be quite different they're more like exploration and um and uh, and trying to find items and um scientific things even I, i've read so all right your first expedition let's might as well start with the first one eh? your first assignment you have to go to the mountains and install a radio module that will improve the signal quality at the base but be careful the road is not easy. Well, let's start with that one. Let's see what we have uh, uh, in the way of other uh, varying activities. Not far from a training base, we left valuable cargo. Use a metal metal detector to search, to search for objects. That's, that's a new kind of thing. I like to see that. Uh, they say the lake located near the camp cannot be crossed by truck. Go there and check it out. Just don't forget to take an accompanying tool with you. Okay. And one of our forwarders is stuck in a swamp, so we'll have to deploy and evaluate the truck. This is a heavy truck, so you need a powerful vehicle to pull it out and take it to the outpost. So take this into account when planning uh, when planning to deploy, okay? And, ooh, what is this? We need to conduct a seismic survey of the surrounding area, so you'll need a heavy truck with a seismic vibrator uh, installed. Equipment like this greatly increases the weight of the truck. So make sure you purchase all the necessary upgrades. Okay, so that one's going to come down a little bit more. But there you go, the science of it. There you go. So we got earthquake stuff. All right, let's uh, start, though, with the first expedition. Okay, so here we are in the expedition setup screen with our first expedition. So we need to take a truck. Um, so we need uh, requirements here. We need a jack screw. I'm not sure what that is. And a sideboard. Don't know what that is either. So anyway, let's have a look. Ooh, these are all the vehicles. Look at these things. So these, uh, so I guess these uh, TUZ things are like the Unimogs. Look at that! It's like a, it's like a little rally car. Look at that thing. Okay, some trucks. Ooh, like a Land Cruiser um, Defender <laughs> crossover. Uh, four by four there, and another truck. Okay, well let's uh, grab this thing. Okay, so here we go. We got inventory and cargo. This is a lot more in depth than SnowRunner, I tell you already. You got inventories and everything. Okay, uh, th okay, there's the jack screw thing right there. So we need to take one of those. And then a sideboard. And we're doing a radio thing. Oh, there it is right there. Radio station. Okay, I'm not sure what a sideboard is. I'm sure we'll learn at some point, but uh, there we go. I think we have what we need. So it's 2,750 meters. I would imagine that, I mean, Surely we'll get there on one tank of fuel. We could always grab a, a little bit extra if we need that. And, uh, okay. All right, let's, let's deploy. Okay, here we go. Get to the crossroads. All right. 
we're in and we're uh we have been unleashed everybody let's go so let's get four-wheel drive on Got the handbrake off off we go all right down here oh mini map in expeditions you'll need to navigate the terrain use the mini map for this okay that's fine over the mini map with this one ah yes it's like the map from uh, snow runner okay all right well we're just following markers at the minute oh hang on my the damn uh handbrake's on again all right oh. right how do i change the view again i forgot how to do that that is that is the witch <laughs> uh i'm pressing different buttons here oh i put the handbrake on again echo sounder use the echo sounder to determine the depth of water bodies you're about to cross okay oh we got divide okay this is cool so Ooh. Oh, that is... Okay, that is awesome. That is super cool. We can see if any uh, sudden drops. Dangerous water level. Not at all. Don't worry about that. Let's keep using that as we cross here. No, that, I, that is the wrong button. I'm going to be pressing all sorts of wrong buttons at the moment. <laughs> For the moment resource zone oh i already got the radio thing i guess i'll have another one then <laughs> well they'll have they can have two radios then find a suitable location okay drone explore the nearby drone uh nearby mountain rather using a drone okay let me get let me get up here first one second oh never mind drone whoa okay uh up whoa look at this <laughs> okay very nice this is this is awesome you can find a way up uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh it's like far cry not he goes so far oh uh, wildlands brother okay so just go around to the left and there's a way up right there Visit the top of the mountain with a drone. All right. We just got to go right into the circle. Okay, there we go. Find a path. Well, it's right there. Exit the drone and continue the search using the vehicle. Well, we know, yeah. There's, there's a path right there. I can see it. Let's crack on with it. Ooh. Sun's going now. Let's get to this uh, pretty quick before it gets night. Ooh, oh, climb the mountain. Use the winch to get your vehicle out of trouble. Attach it to natural elements or your own anchors to uh, to pull it out. Okay. Trees are common and useful winching points. Be careful; they can break. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh, I keep forgetting about my handbrake. There we go. <laughs> oh no! Hold me up. Oh, hey. Keep rolling. All right. Beautiful. You can also find the winch in the devices menu. Yep. There it is. All right. Install the radio station. Let's do it. Oh, come on. There we go. Come on, Unimog. All right. So the radio thing is in. Look around using binoculars. What does this mean? Oh. Binoculars are a great way to explore the map and find useful places or convenient paths for the vehicle to pass. Okay. Look at the marked area on the map and then scout it. Uh, with the, what, with the binoculars? I would assume so. Explore the area 94%. Okay. Binoculars. How do I zoom in? Discovered a new an airdrop. around with the drone now okay ah another airdrop all right so done that had a look around and we found a couple of airdrops we'll go try and go down and get one i go to the next one using the drone you can also discover unexplored parts of the map yep all right use the drone to discover all marked areas okay we'll do that in a moment 
What does it want me to do here? Re uh, recover to the base and park the truck. Recovery. At any time during the expedition, you can recover your vehicle to the field base. Oh, well, let's not drive over the edge. Way steady. Okay, I can't control my car. I can't control my car with the handbrake on. <laughs> what the heck? It just kept sliding. Ah, right, here we go. Expedition completed. All right, sponsor payment. Oh, we got two, two grand for that. On any truck. The Dawn 71. Take less than 200 damage. Well, yeah, I don't know how you could really in that it's a very small mission, but just introductory ones. All right, got ahead of orders. You know what? Let's get out of the desert and go into the Carpathians, which is in um, Hungary, Slovakia, and Poland, I believe, around that area. Let's have a look at what we can do here. The prologue. Let's go to Europe. We dropped some important equipment nearby. Never mind what dropped means. It was just a small logistical miscalculation. You probably ruined something. It should take you all of 20 minutes if you hustle. Okay. So we need... Uh, oh, we need, we need a logistician this time. Okay, so... These are the these are the team members. This is a list of special of specialists that are available to you. You can hire them to make the expedition easier or get more benefits from it. Okay. Look at that guy, Connor Erickson. <laughs> Looks like he's ready to do a bombing raid in World War II. <laughs> All right, let's take him along. Okay, he's coming along, and uh, we need a jack screw and an anchor. Okay. I wonder if we can... Uh, oh, no. I was going to say, I wonder if we can take this thing. That's not going to count it, is it? Let's be honest. Okay. Can we take this thing? You know what? Let's take this old beast. Okay. And then we need a jack screw and an anchor. Is that what it... it is that what it said? I forgot what it said. Let's have another look at the mission. And an anchor. Yep. Yeah. Let's take this old beast and an anchor. Uh, a bit more fuel, you never know. No, no, oh, no, we can't. I guess we're full on that. 200 liters, though, should be enough. Ooh, okay. A nice morning. Visit the base exit. All right, let's fire her up. Get that all-wheel drive on and get that handbrake off. Look at, this, look at this thing. Let's get into first person as well. All righty, here we go. Ooh, okay, first person. I may need to up this field of view. One moment. Okay, there we go. I'm still, like... Why is my face, like, above the... Okay, that's one thing I'm not so sure about there. My face... My eyes are in, um... <laughs> right, like, right above there. There we go. Just, there we go. That's better. Sit back a little bit. Building modules. What's this? Essential storage. Okay, let's not... Let's not complicate matters. Let's just get out of here. All right. Get to the viewpoint. Okay, this is the first time we've actually been unleashed so far without being stopped with the uh, intro stuff. Oh, hang on. Uh, better off probably looking where we're going first. Well, better yet, let's use the new things. Let's let's have a let's have a look, drone, and just see where we're going. Uh, where we're gonna go. So we need to get right over there. Well, I, I see a little path through this forest here, or we can actually just follow the road. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's kind of a track. All right. Let's go down to the left. Oh, I tell you what, this this livery on this thing is atrocious. <laughs> Not a fan. All right. Oh, this is some uh, this is some proper off roading. Look at this. I have to say, it is very pretty. Whoa. Sorry, tree. Oh, I am I am just I'm making a right mess here, aren't I? I have to go over some. Actually, no. Let's not go over the rocks. I don't want to damage everything. Instead, let's, uh, yeah, instead let's just run over wildlife and, um, and nature. <laughs> oh, jeez, this thing is a bit of a beast, though, to be fair. Come on, you can do it. Watch there just be, like, the most simple little way that I completely missed. Just watch there be a road. <laughs> All right, there we go. Across the dry shoal. Slap it on. Slap on the handbrake. Looks like we need to ha uh, head there, but we need to... Never mind, I didn't see it in time. <laughs> we need to what? <laughs> I don't know what we need. I didn't see it in time. Let's just wing it and see what happens. Okay. I, I Honestly, I forgot what this mission was all about. Oh, bit of a, bit of a stutter there. Like I said, this is, I mean, this is pre-release, so... 
you're going to have some problems. I already had uh, an issue. Uh, oh, hang on. Driving up the mountain always, always has a high risk of overturning the, uh, the car. Lower the tire pressure to increase gear. Okay, let's do that. But yeah, I had a bit of an issue on the uh, introductory. Well, not on the introductory mission. That was just a more of a driving test. But the one after that, the first expedition, um, there was a bit of a problem. I had to go back to the menu. But you can expect these little things pre-release. How am I supposed to get up there? What is this? Oh, we're going to need a winch, I can tell you that. That's why I probably they brought an anchor, unless I can't get a hold of a tree up there. Okay, let's not go up that way. Let's go this way right here. See if we can manage it. Oh, oh my goodness. Bouncing around all over the place. Oh... This is a hard climb. You should use the tire inflation system and a winch. Okay, let's let's actually do that. Uh, if I can remember how to do the... If I can remember the buttons for the tire inflation system. There it is. Well, let's do... Let's just go for it. Let us send it with the tire pressures. Let's see how far we can go without a winch too. Pick up the cargo. Okay, just up there. Oh, this thing is doing just fine without a winch. Let's go. This is just nailing it. Who needs a winch? Look at this thing go. Beautiful. Oh, I'm getting a warning of something on the on the left, the bottom left there. My like red line in the engine. <laughs> Maybe don't rev it as much. <laughs> Oh, it's no even if i pull my uh pull my foot off the accelerator it still flashes all right what is this oh this is the airdrop okay so what does it have oh okay all right oh it has a bunch of useful stuff in the jack screws we know we need those sometimes the uh, scrap metal i guess we can sell that oh disassembled into parts interesting and supplies okay good stuff Wait, what is this? Is this like... Wait, we can take the fuel too? Oh, sick! We can take the fuel in there! Nice! Okay, wait, we're maxed on spare parts and everything else though. Oh, wow. Look at this. Can I... How do I... Uh, oh, there it is. I remember how to do the, the button now. There we go. Look at that. That is so pretty. I'll tell you what, while we're here, let's get that drone out and have a look around if we can spot anything spot anything else oh, it's very pretty it is very pretty basically what i think this game is all about is a typical mud runner and snow runner uh kind of model and the, you know that whole idea of difficult off-roading and all that but a lot more to do in it you know and something something to work towards I guess having a company and a crew and a camp and stuff to build, which is awesome. All right, let's head back. If I can, I'm getting a get a little bit caught up in the trees. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're out. We're out, and then we got to get back down this damn mountain. Oh, I think maybe um, that warning in the bottom left is actually for fuel consumption. Maybe it's just noting higher fuel consumption because I've got the tire pressures down. Ooh, nice and easy down here. Actually, what we could do is low range it. Or rather, diff lock. There, there we go, diff lock. Not low range, diff lock. Oh no. Okay, hand in hand on this thing. Gotcha. Okay, okay. All right, put the diff locks on now. Oh no. Low range and then diff lock. There we go. Ooh. I think on some vehicles, the diff lock is always on. Okay. I'll be going to turn it off now. And then back into normal normal mode. This is nice. I'm, it's going to be... Uh, I think it's going to be a lot better when people bring in the modded vehicles again as well. That's going to make it absolutely awesome. 
being able to have your uh, crew and then buy things like your Jeep. Like, obviously, like, that's what I like. That's what I own in real life. Um, and different things like that. Hopefully, we can get a good Wrangler mod in this one, though. Anyone out there who can make these mods, please make a really good Wrangler. I'd be very appreciative. <laughs> I, do like a, I do like a good first person. I, I've always enjoyed the, the first person in these games. With that manic arm movement of flying around. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Nice lighting. I like that. Lighting uh, is so important in games. Often overlooked. All right, let's deliver it back here. There we go. Complete. 4,800. Nice. Fantastic. And more loot. Basically, this is like... Basically, this game... In my... You know, the, the very the very little time I've spent in it, I'm going to play more. Certainly after I even do this video. I want to get a better look at it. And maybe get another video out on it after I've played it for a little bit longer. Just so I can get used to it and give you a, a, give you a full and accurate account of what I actually think of it. But so far, I think it's a good step. I think it's a good step in... in broadening what the game is really good for and that is just exploring and there was there wasn't that much in the way of exploration content on the last games like mud runner and snow runner they didn't really incentivize you to go out there with a scout car particularly which i which i love to do that's the main thing i like to do in these games you know so if they focus on more the smaller stuff going out there finding this you know finding these airdrops and just the, the small the, the things that four by fours can do i'm all for it absolutely okay so we've had a look at carpathia and little colorado let's have a look at arizona and and see what that looks like as uh as well so conquest of the frontier the arizona government okay so we've been like contracted by the arizona government for this one and here's the first serious contract the government lost a, a cargo near our field base and asks to return it back. You can deliver it to the base, and then we'll figure out how to send it back to the recipient. Okay, so we need an anchor, uh, an anchor to jack screw the things we've needed in the past couple of ones. Alrighty, here we are in Arizona in some kind of bloody tiger print. <laughs> not, not a fan of the liveries, I'll be honest. Hopefully we can take them off. I haven't looked at the customization yet, but I assume it's largely the same as SnowRunner. We can have a look, look at that after this. This, this is more my scene in, uh, in these games. It seems we don't have many options for leaving the base. Let's ha take a look around. Okay. Is the uh, viewpoint? Oh, oh, oh. And I am playing like the, the very first missions of all these areas. So there's a lot of things like popping up telling you what to do. I assume that would stop after a while. From here, you have a great view. Might be worth checking everything out with the binoculars. All right. Don't have to tell me twice. Ooh. Ah, there it is. There's the airdrop. Okay, so this one actually, I think, is the furthest one away so far. 254 meters, I assume that is. How do we get over there? Start scanning. I'm sorry, wait, wait, wait what is this? Okay. <laughs> What is that? Whoa. It's like quick time events. Oh, I missed. Whoops. I, I wasn't. <laughs> this is all new. I don't know what is happening right now. You need to be alert for this. Okay. Well, I can see the way down. It's right there. This totem points to the safe path. Should be careful, so keep an eye out. Should be helpful, sorry. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Texture's lagging behind a little bit. Okay, nice and easy down here. Oh, over the rocks. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. 
I just need the boys to join me, and then we can properly do all this stuff. This is awesome. Okay, so there's something there. What is that it? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, and the uh, textures have, re have rejoined us. There we go. <laughs> Looks like a difficult climb, but if you lower your tire pressure, you'll notice a difference right away. Okay, before we do that, I'm going to go over here and have a look. There's something in orange over here. We could probably pull the drone out, but I'm just going to drive over there. It's an airdrop. Look at that. And ta although, although we may have to save this. Let's have a look. A handbrake on and trade. Okay, so we got anchor, dinosaur femur. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna, probably going to have to come back for that because I'm we're trying to do this mission for the government, aren't we? So let's come back for that later. Oh, try not to damage my my four by four. It on dangerous water level. Get out of here. Get a snorkel. Nonsense. I tell you what, now I've been left on my own, I'm enjoying this a lot more. No one likes having loads of things thrown at thrown at them, but I completely understand for for those new to this. It would be nice if they had like a customized intro for people who have played these games a lot before. But just need a little crash course on what's new. That would be nice. Rather than having to kind of go through a whole driving crash course again. But it is what it is. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on. We don't need a winch. Come on. Winch is for emergencies. There, we do there you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Love 4 before 4s man. I love them so much I bloody own one. Okay, how do we... I can see a path down. Don't even need... Don't need any, don't need any fancy equipment for that. I can see a way down this way. We could, actually, we could go... We could get down right here. Just me, the car, and the wilderness. And a, and a bunch of tech. Okay, that looks like wetland down there. Let's go around it. Oh. I tell you what, this is going to be amazing with modded vehicles. Modded and DLC vehicles. Hopefully they can release another sort of... Uh, jeep and land rover uh, like collaboration pack they did with them i snapped that up heartbeat when i was playing uh, snow runner heck yeah more of that please more of that bring more uh, bring more real car manufacturers into it all right okay so there's quite a few things here so this is the f okay so this is a, they have a dinosaur femur as well equipment box ah now yeah i'm not gonna be able to <laughs> i'm not gonna be able can i uh transfer the anchor don't need an anchor just let's just get the mission items and we'll get back there always come back later and pick this stuff up and you know what you know what let's go through this bog let's see how it does in the soft stuff Oh, look at this. Come on. Oh, you beauty. You absolute beauty. Oh, watch where you're going. Ooh. Okay. Let's uh, let's be careful about this. Okay. Down. Oh. Oh, no damage, please. No damage. There we go. Lovely. All right. Let's get back to camp. And honestly, we, we need to get the stuff we've left behind as well. So we can come straight back out. See, now, I love Warby 4 so much. I would rather just do this in two journeys than have a big goal. I would have a massive truck and do this. I feel much more nimble as well in these things. There's just something about off-roading in the wilderness, like, you know, in games like this, that I just find so peaceful and relaxing. I don't know. I don't know if I'm alone in that, but let me know if you always, if you, uh, if you also find it relaxing and almost soothing, you know? Oh, 
starting to struggle a little bit up this hill. Maybe reduce the tire pressures. Put that, put that on. Let's uh, yeah, let's reduce the tire pressure and continue. There we go. Using the new mechanics. Fantastic! Look at that. I have to say, this game is going to be much more fun with friends as well. And I don't mean that for the game as a whole. I mean, uh, in comparison to SnowRunner and MudRunner, I just feel like there's much more to do in smaller vehicles. Which is my big interest in this. Because if, I, if I'm not mistaken, mainly the scout vehicles were all they were really there to do was just drive around and explore the map. That's all they were there to do before. But now, you know, with every car, every vehicle having an inventory, you know, suddenly you're, everything's a lot more useful. The smaller vehicles are anyway. All right, deliver. Completed. Another 4,600. And we took no damage at all. And uh, we have our own dinosaur femur and all that down in that valley that we had to dip down to go up the other side of. So, all right. And we, and we, of course, we don't have to go back to headquarters. We can go and grab that. So, you know what? I'm going to go and grab that. And then I can give you my uh, final first impressions of this. As it's, uh, as the sun is rising once again. We're taking a bit of a risky route around the side of this. Oh, 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 imagine dropping down there. Let's be very careful, shall we? Nice and easy. Oh, my God goodness this is terrifying i'm not even sure we can make it no definitely not damn and blast oh no can we make it or not i mean you know what if we're gonna try let's lower this actually no because we need to drop down twice as well to get onto that path you know what this is not gonna work let's go around <laughs> All right, and just before we end here, we'll have a quick look at what you can do with all the customization uh, on this. So, uh, well, we already own that one. What else do we have here? So apparently there's 20 vehicles at launch, and I imagine a lot more is going to get added uh, in the future. Whoa, look at that thing. Got the Insurgent from GTA. Okay, that I've seen that one before. I think that's from uh, SnowRunner. And look at that van. That's awesome. Tatra. Okay. Okay, cool. So you, uh, a bunch of stuff just to begin with. And then hopefully a lot more coming, including, uh, some more real brands that we all know and love. Let me, uh, okay, let's customize this and just see what we can do with a the paint. There we go. That is so much better. So, <laughs> oh my God. That is, oh yeah, that is awesome. I like that. And we have uh, 42,100 uh, credits, monies, cash, whatever whatever it's called in this. Uh, let's just have a play around. Uh, let's try and save our money so we can just at least preview everything. So we've got a roof rack there. Ah, you know what? I'm going to invest in that because that's just more, more cargo space. And it's so important. So we got, oh, that's what we unlocked doing that mission, the heavy bull bar. Uh, good crash protection. Yep. They look awesome. The rims, cool. Oh, whoa. That is, uh, that is pretty heavy duty. Well, let's get a spare wheel mount. Might as well. Uh, here we go. Whoa. Wait, what, what, what is all this? Different fenders? Composite fenders? Emergency reserve? Significantly increased fuel supply. Okay. What is it? Where is it? Oh, I like, what is that? It looks like ladders. All right, what else can we do? So we can upgrade the engine, of course. Ooh, not even that bad to uh, to upgrade all of that. Yeah, you can just make it so, so much better. Rock crawler kit. Yeah, so you can lift it. And then, uh, you know, you got your lift kit as well. All your different tire... Uh, choices as uh, as you had in SnowRunner. Uh, uh, same thing with the winch. I imagine most of this is going to be uh, the similar thing with uh, SnowRunner and previous games as well. A snorkel! Good, because we're running into some problems. <laughs> uh, 
we run into some uh, issues with some dangerous water levels, apparently. But, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. How do we actually get the spare wheel? Because I put it on, but how do you... Ah! <laughs> just like that. Actually, just look at the game and it'll tell you what to do. Oh, and you can do this too. You can... I guess that, yeah, that takes up your roof, uh, your roof rack slots. But then, yeah, it's just fantastic. Love to see that, you know, the fundamentals of, like, customizing vehicles in uh, SnowRunner has, and, um, has made a return. Just like this. Because it is a good system. All right, that was my, uh, first look and first impressions of Expeditions, a Mudrunner game. Um, so far, I like it. You know, it's, it's, it's different. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes and what more uh dlc and everything they come out for it and what the mods look like uh but yeah this isn't a review you know i was just my very first i don't know how long this video is but 30 minutes or whatever it is but my first uh experience of the game if you want to see more for instance i want to go back into the carpathians but actually do this stone-faced uh expedition because it requires a scout I'm an, and i am all for that so if you want to see that Please hit the like button. Thanks again to Focus Entertainment for providing me with a with a key uh, to have a look at this early. Uh, game is out on the 5th of March. If you want to get it yourself, it's on Steam and it's on your consoles as well. But apart from that, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.